Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Inkscape and a, another program called Calligrapher and we're actually gonna be creating our very own font. Okay, so to start off with, um, we're actually gonna be using a couple different programs, one of them being Inkscape, of course, um, to create your entire, create your own um, font file. And it's, this is gonna be a font file they're gonna be able to install. You're gonna send it to somebody else for them to install and they can use it as an actual font. If you wanna play around with it, even if you wanna make some really weird and wacky different kinds of fonts, or if you're a little bit more artistic and you wanna sit down and create a really nice, clean, crisp font, this is gonna be the video for you. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and we've got Inkscape open. So let's go ahead and go to our other program that we're gonna be using, which is called Calligrapher. Put a link down in the description below. Um, this is actually a browser program, so you don't have to install it or anything. All you have to do is just register. They do have a free version, um, and everything that we're gonna be doing here today is gonna be done on the free version, or you can get the pro version, and a lot of the program opens up for you. So what we're gonna do first is actually, we're going to be doing creating a template. So what this template is gonna do is, there's a few different ways of doing this with Calligrapher. You can actually you know, download this template, print it off on a printer, and then hand draw um, all of your characters. Or like what we're gonna be doing today is we're actually gonna be using it and importing it into Inkscape, saving it as a PDF, and then re-uploading it to Calligrapher, basically just skipping that printer step altogether. So once we've gotten the minimum English, which is the 60 characters, what we can do is we actually can delete um, any characters that you don't want in your template. Now that we've just got the standard, um, we've just got a few different kinds of characters, basically the standard characters, and then the upper and lower case. So let's go ahead and click download template. We're actually gonna turn this into a PNG instead of a PDF because we're gonna be using it in Inkscape as opposed to um, you know, changing it in like a PDF viewer. And we wanna keep the draw helplines because it's gonna give us some spacing and then characters as backgrounds we're gonna leave unchecked. So we're gonna go ahead and click download and it's gonna go through its processing and then download your template. All right, now that we've got our template, we're gonna go ahead and right click, click Save Image and Template 1. It is gonna be saved as a PNG. We're gonna go ahead and click Save. Go ahead and minimize this and get back into Inkscape. So let's go ahead and go to File, Import, and there is our template as a PNG. So let's go ahead and import that. We're gonna keep everything here default. Click OK. And now that we've got our template. So what this is going to allow us to do is typically what you were wanting to do is actually um, print this off and then hand draw all of your characters in, okay? But instead of doing that, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in Inkscape. So just like these little box suggests, this, this very first box you want to draw in whatever the exclamation mark is going to look like. So it's going to be, you know, just a very simple, very simple square or rectangle rather, just like that. And please, I am I'm doing this very quickly, very nitty gritty. There's not going to be a whole lot of, um, you know, artistic ability in this video. I just wanted to show you how this can be done. That way you guys could really take your time and um, make these fonts really kind of cool. Um, we're actually gonna get rid of the outline because that looks terrible. And my opacity is all the way down. So there we go. Very first box, you wanna keep that exclamation point. Of course, quotations, your commas, periods, colons, semicolons, question mark, so on and so forth. And then your A, B, C, D, all of your uppercase letters. And then if we scroll down here to the bottom is gonna be all of your lowercase letters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill these in really quick with my mouse, just so we can uh, move on to the next step. All 
All right, so we've got our hideous looking font um, uh, drawn in. And so we're gonna go ahead and highlight all of these. Now with the calligrapher program, you wanna make sure that all of your uppercase letters are the same size, all your lowercase letters are the same size. Or what's gonna happen is when you go to type these out, they're going to um, distort and they're not gonna look great when you put them together. So when you're building these in Inkscape, whether you're um, you know, hand drawing them and importing them in and then tracing them over with Inkscape or you're doing them all exclusively in Inkscape, um, what you wanna do is you always want to bring a couple of these together like you would you know, in a word, okay? Um, grab a couple of these, duplicate them, you know, turn them into a word and you know, make sure the spacing looks okay. Otherwise, when you make your font file, it's they're not gonna look great. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight all of these with the background because we wanna export all of those at the same image. We're gonna go ahead and export the PNG image. Find out where we're gonna export it. Build template, click save, and then of course, export that. Now what we can do is we can go back into the calligrapher program. We're going to escape out of that. And what we're going to do, we're going to then go to My Fonts, then go to Upload Template, choose File. And wherever you saved your file template, we're going to go to the Filled Temp, open that up, and then automatically clean templates, and then Upload Template. and it has uploaded our template. So all of these characters are going to be, um, and the nice thing about this is if you want to, you know, delete any of these, you can take some of these out. You can, um, you know, you can't edit them at this point because if we've already uploaded that, if you don't like the look of it at this point, you can always hit cancel, start over again from the beginning and go from there. So let's go ahead and add characters to your font. And now this care, this um, font is put into Calligrapher. Um, with the free version, you can only work on one font at a time, um, and but that's okay. As soon as you um, build this font and actually download it, you can delete it out of Calligrapher, and you can actually start with a different font. So if you wanted to create more than one font, you ha just have to you know you can't save it here. If you wanted to, you could save the template, of course as an Inkscape file. That way, if you wanted to go back in and you know tweak something or change something, you can do it that way. Um, with the paid version of Calligrapher, you can always keep as many fonts in your browser. And then of course, I think they've got some cloud storage that they offer too with that. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below, of course, on the Calligrapher and where to get that. All right, now this one is all done. All we have to do now is build the font. So let's go ahead and build font. And we are gonna name this Trash font because it's just about that. I'm gonna go ahead and click build and it's gonna build our font for us. So now that we've got the font done, we can actually do a size comparison and it'll actually give us um, the sizes between um, the typical font size, like which characters. Um, and if you don't like the way that these look, the sizes, you could always <clears throat> edit the size within um, Calligrapher. So let's go ahead and click the um, true the true type um, font type over here on the font files. It'll actually go ahead and start that download, which will just take a few seconds. Open up your downloads, and as you can see, there is our true type file for our downloads here. All right, now that we have the font downloaded as a true type font, we're actually going to locate where will you have um, your Inkscape file saved, the actual program file itself. I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. We're gonna go into the LIB folder, excuse me. We're gonna go into the ETC folder, click fonts. And now that we've got the open top font file put in, we're gonna go ahead and right click and install. Now that we've got that installed, we can close out of that, reopen Inkscape back up again. Then going to the 
Rash font, make that nice and large. Go into text and fonts. And there you have it. It is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And, and there you have it. The font that I created looks abysmal. Hopefully you guys can do a heck of a lot better job. Um, I would love to, see, love to see some of the stuff you guys have done. Um, I'll put a link in the description below on our Discord, so if you guys want to jump onto that and um, show everybody here at Misfit Studios some of the fonts that you guys come up with, or if you guys want to share some of your fonts with us and you want to see them in some videos or see them in some projects that we've been um, that we that we do here in um, Inkscape or on HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro, please by all means shoot us a message on our Discord. Um, you can message us on here too if you want our Facebook page anywhere else that there's social media, please, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out tremendously. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.